guys, I want to go over this flip through with you today of a Becca's homeschool program for their new intermediate math course. This is for seventh grade math. And I wanted to just give you a quick sneak peek of the student books, the material. I have the video manual here. I'm going to be showing that to you. And it comes with a solution key, which is really helpful for you when you're trying to break down some of the intermediate mathematics. And this is the updated version that they have put out this year. It's 2022. And um, your kit will come complete with your quiz test key, quizzes and test. It comes with the student work text. So this book has been worked in a little bit this year so far. But as you can see, it has the lesson that they read on the video course and it has um, the reading material and the examples and then they have the practice questions and then they have their homework section so each day when they do they'll do the practice in class whichever numbers the teacher have them do sometimes it's even sometimes it's odd um, and then they will have a homework assignment and they will do that and then when the video starts the next day they will go over the homework on video so that's just a quick little way that the um, course kind of works so let me go to actually I'm gonna pause that um, this is the solution key let me go to the video manual real quick so I can show you what that looks like because this is going to be your friend this is going to show you everything that your um, child will be doing in the course each day it's got your daily guides to guide you through um, here's a table of contents this kind of gives you an idea for um, information what supplies you'll need a becca also has a supply list on their website for their math course you will need a protractor and things like that. And they'll give you that list if you go to their website. Um, it gives you the responsibilities of being the home teacher, the class schedule that you can use or not use, whatever floats your boat, um, how to give and grade the quizzes. And then it gets into your daily guides, which is going to be the most useful thing in this book. As far as, um, it gives you um, the quick quizzes, quick quizzes answer key, which is in the appendix in the back, and progress reports for the courses in here, and contact information if you do need to reach out to um, someone about the course or you have any issues. So I'm just gonna flip through the book because I wanna get to the daily guides. So of course, lesson one, lesson two, this is gonna kinda start out a little softer and then it gets into because they're really reviewing and going over class procedures the first week so I'm going to go on and get to a more ideal day look at lesson 18 it shows you the pages that are taught IM stands for intermediate mathematics everything is abbreviated within the lesson guide and it has the abbreviation um, meanings in the front of the book It'll go over that with you, but HW for homework check. They usually, um, they start with a homework check. You're going to turn the video on, um, and then today, on this particular day, they're doing a quick quiz E. Optional fast fact content is included for broader concept exposure, so you can do those reviews. There's a lot of review and a lot of extras that you can choose to do within the course or not choose to do. So... The videos I'm seeing, they do run probably between 30 and 50 minutes, just depending on if it's a new, you know, the new concept being taught that day or if it's more of a review day. Um, so here's one day that shows where the, they're having a test and they're going to do a homework check. There is no video today, so that would be a shorter day. And um, you would give the test and collect and grade and then you're going to plan to return the graded test in lesson 29 so when they come back they um, can review that 
um, test to see what they missed. So this is just how the video lesson guides look. So I'm just kind of giving you, I like to do videos short and quick just to kind of give you a general idea of um, the material itself. So that is your video manual. And the book itself, the work text, let's see what your child will be learning for the year. Starting out, numbers with arithmetic. Feel free to pause this to really see what's inside the book here. Um, numbers and arithmetic, percents and percentages, sign numbers, getting into some algebraic evaluation and translations, intro to algebra by chapter three. And then you have your geometry, area and volume measurement, probability, statistics, statistical representations, and then it goes into graphing, polynomials, equations, inequalities. So getting into a lot more strategic mathematics here that I'm very grateful to have the videos for in teaching those things because this mama does not do the math that well. So yes, and it gives you ideas of how to use this text, um, how the practice review and homework, that this is from a Christian perspective, as is all of A. Becca's um, subjects, is a Christian worldview. And then it goes right into your first chapter. Now, so let's look at the solution key real quick. This is your key when you need to help them. This shows the solutions to the problems worked out with the answers. So this is nice for you to have. So if they need to figure out, oh, they may have missed one number here or you know miscalculated, you can see right where they did it and you don't have to go rework every single step to try to figure that one error out. You have the solutions on hand. So this is a quick sneak peek at your solution key. This is all chapter one. I'm just gonna flip through and do a little view of each chapter. Yeah. You know, seventh grade math to me is is really starting to get into some advanced stuff with a becca i do feel like their math program is is advanced more so but maybe that's just me let me know in the comments what you think if you think that this is more advanced on a seventh grade level because we also we do teach in textbooks um, math as well and i would like to hear what you think of this curriculum let me know in the comments and um I'll be sure to comment back to you. But yep, that is your solution key, and it even has the graphs for your problems worked out there too, so that is very helpful to have that. Your quiz and test, and then your, oh, that's your quiz and test key. Your quizzes and tests are all together in one book. It's easy to just pull out everything's in order and I will look, the way that I do it is I would turn her video on and I would look and see what we needed to do today. And if she needed a quiz or test, I would just pull this out and give her her quiz and test. She would take it and give it back. Then I would just grade it if I had time that day or the next day grade it and give it back to her. They review it and then we file it. And um, yeah, so that's how it works. It's pretty simple. As of right now, I'm going to be honest with you, we did this program. This came with our kit. Initially, I was going to um, get the kit that just, you know, just English, Science, and Social Studies because we're so content with teaching textbooks. But we went with this um, to try it because it was cheaper to purchase the whole kit than to buy individual subjects. And that's something that I wish a Becca would give you more of a discount on sometimes if you didn't need the math, but we ended up getting the math to try it. And um, the first week it was a little bit too advanced for her. 
And so we went back to what we were doing. And if you want to see something funny, well, I just lost it anyways. It was, um, <laughs> it was definitely something that, oh, there it is. Look, there's some fancy artwork for you guys. Um, but yeah, so it was something that we got because it came with it and we tried it and it wasn't a good fit for us. I'm just going to say that, I'm not saying that it won't be for you, but, um, I'm going to do another video on teaching textbooks. And so you can kind of compare and contrast the two and see what you think about both programs. So if you'll subscribe and like my channel, that way hit that notification bell and that way you can see when I do post the seventh grade teaching textbooks curriculum for you guys to check that out too if you're searching for mathematics for seventh grade. I would recommend teaching textbooks and I hope that this has been informative and if you like this program, if you like it, um, check it out. I, I don't think it's a bad program. It just didn't work well for my daughter and so we're going back to what we used last year. We're picking up where we left off. And um, that just is what works for her. So anyways, um, please comment and let me know if you have any questions about this work textbook. And I hope you guys have a great day. And God bless.